happy theme Thursday, guys. So, what? It's just one baby? <laughs> no, there's more behind me. But I thought I'd start with the bouncer baby first. Um, this is Raphael. You haven't seen him in a while. Because I did not want to take him out of his adorable little man outfit that I had him in. He had bow tie and his little handsome shoes. And I mean, this one, this is one of the babies. Like, it's so hard to really show you how gorgeous he is. Look at his painted hair. It's curly. But he is, oh, I just love him. Those little lips. So, yeah, I love this kit so much. I do have two. <laughs> uh, my witch baby is the same kit. It's um, the Juliet kit. <laughs> so, this little guy has his... We're here for Theme Thursday, and it's giraffes. And neutral colors are, like, gender neutral. So, we're doing it all. I always try to do it all. <laughs> Sometimes it just happens that way. Like, it's not on purpose. I'm just like, oh my goodness, this has everything. <laughs> so, it just works out. Um, so, there's his giraffe blanket. And then he has his giraffe lovey. I wasn't sure if it rattled, but no, this one doesn't rattle. So cute. But, of course, also, um, the blanket and the lovey themselves, neutral colors. So, this is like a cream color and... This is a, like a little bit darker cream color. So, very cute. I just got this for him like last month. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? Found it on sale at Walgreens. <laughs> I love giraffes. I actually have giraffes in my nursery. It's kind of, my nursery is a blend of giraffes and Winnie the Pooh. I brought out my giraffe rug. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be vacuumed. I don't have time. Anyway, so he has his gender neutral passy. It's got like musical notes, blue and orange, and it's like a limey green color. Uh, or, um, I mean, like um, a yellow green color. That's what I mean. Because <laughs> lime and green are the same. <laughs> it's the same thing. So on his um, little onesie, which is a gender gender neutral onesie, he has giraffes. You can zoom in. So he's got giraffes on here, and then it's really cute because it has a G, and I don't. I think they actually spelled giraffe. Look, it's so tiny because you see the little. Look how tiny that is. Who can read that? But there's this little giraffe. So he's got little giraffes all over and some turtles and palm trees and duckies. There's some more giraffes like over here. See, there's one. And see, there's a P, I think, for palm. D for duck. How did they write that? Oh, so tiny. So, so tiny. So that is little Raphael. Um, but of course, you know, that's another thing, you know, what I love about Winnie the Pooh is that basically Winnie the Pooh is like gender neutral. So I have like gender neutral colors in my nursery. Guess what? I just love that about Winnie the Pooh. So let me show you because I have something special to share with you. It's behind me in the crib, so that's cozy. So normally I have this gender neutral blanket on um, in the crib, but underneath it lies my Winnie the Pooh set, which is gender neutral, which I have a lot on here, so you can't see all of it. But it's in blues and greens and yellows and pink and a little bit of like periwinkle purple. So over here in the corner is Lakin. And we have the 
giraffe blanket right there. And Lakin has his giraffe. Who's peeking down, talking to a little tiger. And then he has his giraffe rattle. Over there in the corner, he's wearing gender neutral. It's charcoal and it says mama, dada, all over it. Really cute. I did change his body because the other one was, he just looked way too fat in it. So I switched out his body with somebody else's. So he has the right body now. <laughs> and he has his little giraffe lovey. Oh, this is, um, Grazer, my fawn. He has a little baby deer. He is so cute. <laughs> he looks cute with uh, giraffe stuff. I might have to get him giraffe stuff. And next to him, he looks so cute. We have some giraffes. So these are the giraffes I keep in my nursery. <laughs> This is the first giraffe to the nursery. Special, special, special little girl. And um, this is Ephraim. And he's wearing this gender neutral sleeper that has little happy faces in different colors. And little Passy to go with the orange. Also gender neutral over here. Looking at these little giraffes. This little giraffe. So adorable. Yes, you are. That was a gift. And there's Edison. He's got his gender neutral passy and his gender neutral sleeper. And his little sleeper has a happy face on it. So, are you ready? to meet the girl Emmy. So I've got my awake Emmy, my asleep Emmy boy, and now my asleep Emmy girl. So this is going to be my first set of triplets. So I have been waiting to share her until I had like different stuff for them to coordinate with so this is one of the sets that I have to coordinate with them and they're also gender neutral so hers has a little pink to it so it kind of goes better for a girl and you just using the pink bow I can kind of turn that off yeah well I gotta make a shadow but using the pink bow pops out her Pops out the pink, making it curlier. But if I take and throw on a hat, any color of these hats, because these colors are in the outfit, it could be a boy. It could be boy outfit. And the same with his outfit. If you throw a bow on it, you just throw a bow in it. And it's a girl outfit. <laughs> she would look totally cute in that. If I throw a bow. His head, their heads are smaller. So it's going to be. And pop out the orange that they have going on. Ta-da. It's a girl outfit. <laughs> so totally gender neutral. Love it. And um, this is my first set of triplets. And it's very hard to find stuff. So when you when you're doing triplets or twins, sometimes the gender neutral stuff is the stuff that you have to get cuz you know, especially when you you're you have boy girl twins cuz I don't know, they used to be a lot better at making the same kind of outfits like they would have one in girls and then they would have the the matching one in boys and they tend to not do that as much anymore I noticed um so she does have a name um so yes she has an e name okay so I got cut off because I ran out of 
his <laughs> face. So, like I was saying, um, she does have an E name. So, as you know, that's Ephraim. And that's Edison. Do, do, do. Ephraim. Her name is a little different. I don't even, I, <laughs> uh, I'm saying it how I want to say it. And I really can't find it as an actual name, but it, it literally like, she was so easy to name. This name came to me and I was like, that's perfect. It's like, I love it. So her name is Elspeth. It's not, it's, it's like Elizabeth, but not, there's no, there's no I, there's no H and there's a Z. So. Elspeth, or Elizabeth. That's, that's what came to me. I can't, I can't explain it. I can't, so, <laughs> but that is her name. Um, now, I really didn't do, you know, I made her hair look better, of course. Um, I really, really, really like how dainty she looks with her light coloring. Um, I didn't have time to do any glossing and I forgot I was going to do any glossing. Um, but I like her dainty pale color. So I'm pretty much keeping her the way she is. I added some weight to her. Um, and if you read this, your smile makes me smile. <laughs> so cute little smiley faces. Um, oh, she does have her gender neutral passy matches her pants. Go monkey. So I said gender neutral. Um, it's a teal color. So I forgot what I was saying. So I really, I really didn't change anything paint wise on her. I mean, her eyelashes are gorgeous. You know, she's just, she doesn't shine like that in person. I don't know why she's shiny, but you know, her lips have like a pale peach color to them. And I think that looks perfect with her skin tone. So the only thing I would do is maybe just gloss maybe, but I don't know. I'm just, I don't think I know. If, it, if anything starts to bother me, I'll fix it later, but I just, I love these three. I have gathered stuff for them. I can't wait to start sharing it with you guys. Um, they have like their own little theme. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. So I have found, I also, you probably saw these. So these are like gender neutral. They're different and it, it's just shapes. I can't even tell you what they are. It's just, it's just like this sage color and gray and it's just shapes. And then this one has, uh, bumblebees and sage. So this is supposed to be for them, but this, this one, um, uh, Briar might need this one. Unless I can find a pink one for her. But, so I have these. So they can have those. And they all have passy clips. And I do have, um, something else. Gender neutral. For them I'll show you. Hold on. So they have these little outfits. I've put them all together. So this is... This is a gender neutral sleeper. I got two of them. So these are going to be for the boys. And then there's one that's girly for Elfit. So that's like one set that they have. They have a sneaky peeky. Here's another kind of set that they have that I've gotten gender neutral stuff in. But I can use it for a different theme Thursday. So I don't want to spoil it and show you now. And, but I can show you the, um, oh, that's stuck together. <laughs> uh, 
So she has her passy clip in pink and gray. And this is Edison's in navy and gray. And this is Ephraim's in um, seafoam navy. Is that navy or just blue? Oh, it's just blue because that's navy. So blue and it's because he has like stuff with this color. So they all have their, wait, this one's yours. Okay. So they all have their little, their little passies and they all coordinate. <laughs> so I have those for them. Hold on. But this is one of my favorite finds because it's kind of like having rainbow for boys. And I really wanted to be able, because the, the cutest little rainbow stuff I found for my girls, I found some other rainbow outfits. And I just think they look so cute. And I really wanted them to all have like a rainbow. But like I said, it's hard to find boy stuff that's rainbowy. Without it being girly. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, gender neutral, totally perfect. Um, that's not pink, it's purple. So, it'll totally work. So, um, they'll be able to do those, I guess, like, when we do stripes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed meeting um, my triplets. They're officially triplets. <laughs> I do have some Paradise Galleries that um, could be, but I'm not making them. They're just like brothers, you know, because um, I got them because they look so cute together and they could be, but they're not. So um, even even my par my Paradise Galleries uh, twin boys, some of the other babies look like them, so they could, you know, join in to the little gang too, but, and be triplets or quadruplets, and, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, that's, that's like too much stress, I couldn't do that, because then I would be trying to do so many matching stuff, and I'd probably just go broke on baby clothes alone, <laughs> so, no, I'm not going to do that to myself, no. It was, it was hard enough to do these three. So, but like I said, um, I was having a hard time bonding with him. So I dressed him like a girl. Then I, I was like, nope, that's not it. He's, he's not. So, you know, I added some details, um, just to his face, you know, darken the creases a bit and he was less pale, um, and I just, oh my goodness, just fell in love with him as a boy. And then I missed my little girl. So I was like, when I saw her and at her price, such a steal. So yeah, so I, I have my little girl. So I'm happy now. I'm happy they're complete. They'll be just three and that's it. <laughs> so, but I have had fun. It's been fun collecting stuff for them. Like I said, I can't wait to share with you guys. Um, the different stuff that I have found. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I have to go put this together and hope it gets downloaded for today's theme Thursday. Cause yeah, otherwise it's going to be Fridays. <laughs> okay guys. Thank you so much for watching liking and subscribing. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Say bye bye Raphael. Bye-bye to your aunties and uncles. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.